welcome to Lincoln Tech. My name is Mike Phelps, Director of Admissions here for over 30 years. Today we're going to go into our electrical program and we're going to explore all the different options that you have. We go from residential, commercial, industrial, wall voltage, and we even go into new energy solar. So today I'm going to introduce you to Vaz Moroso, one of our leading instructors here at Lincoln Tech. Hi guys, my name is Vas Morozov. I'm the electrical instructor here at Lincoln Tech in East Windsor. So today I want to show you a couple different things. Uh, one thing I want to show you is this room here that uh, you as a student would be able to wire. And before you actually get to the wire in the whole entire room, you need to learn the basics. You need to learn how to connect the uh, uh, receptacles, how to connect the switches, how to connect the lights, how to connect the power fans. So we go step by step with very basic steps starting very basic and climbing all the way higher. So this room here is already probably a good uh, four courses, five courses into the program. So I'm gonna show you a couple of concepts of this. So the first thing, I got a three game box here. I did not screw them in for a reason because I wanna show you the wiring inside. So this switch right here is gonna control our actual fan with a light, which is up above. And this concept here is gives me an option to control the lighting from two different locations, which is called three-way switches. So we teach you the three-way switches in a different room, and the other switch is on the other side, right here. And I can shut it off from this side. So that way I can turn it on from either location. So that's the concept with three-way switches and how three-way switches work. So with uh, the other switches that we have here, this is a single pole switch here that we'll teach you beforehand how to wire them. This will control the actual recess can, which is up here up above the ceiling that you might have in a room. So I'm gonna quickly uh, do the next one, which is also a single pole, which does this track light up above me. And that's another concept of lighting. So you, as a student, would be able to wire all these uh, different type of lighting and different types of switches that are inside of here. The very big important thing is to follow code. We go through code and we go through blueprints. So if you have a blueprint, you'll be following something along these lines right here. This is some uh, one of our, our students drew this up and we actually ended up wiring the whole en entire house like this uh, for them after we did the room layouts. So after we go through a certain amount of rooms, we have you do the whole entire house from top to bottom. And uh, some of the wiring concepts of here, is for you to understand not only the code, not only the blueprint, but the wiring inside of these switches. So if you uh, come up here, uh, all the different wiring is inside here. It's very important for you to understand the wiring and where everything connects. And with me looking in here, I know exactly where everything's going, where, where all the wires are connecting, where they're supposed to be. So that's something we'll teach you here at Lincoln Tech, so you'll be able to decipher and know what's going on inside of a box right here. Same thing with uh, something like a receptacle here. This is uh, wired correctly with the two yellow uh, buttons to let up on the right. And same thing, you gotta know how to do the uh, hooks on this, on both sides, and how to do the splices inside the box. So all this is very important by code and what the code requirements are. And that's something we're gonna go into in this program. Hi guys, Bass again from Lincoln Tech in East Windsor. So today I wanna to talk about uh, what you, um, as a potential student, will encounter in, in commercial. Commercial, we have metal studs with metal wires and metal boxes. Totally different than residential that we just went over a few minutes ago. But again, the connections inside are still something you need to understand and know how the wiring is inside the actual box, where, where the switch is going to connect, which wires are going to go to which switch. So that's all the concept that transfer from one, uh, which is residential, to your commercial, but it is different concept because of metal wiring, uh, uh, wiring that's inside with the metal studs. Also during this course, we teach you how to pipe bend, which if you take a look above the ceiling here, we have uh, some conduit that's running up above and going all the way across. That's uh, something you will be learning as a student. And if you walk with me over here, I'll show you quickly uh, some of the wiring you will do in commercial for your meters and panels and all that. So this is something that you might see uh, in commercial where you have a bunch of panels that you have to uh, come off of these meter sockets and go to your locations. Just, just like you see the, water, the piping up here, that's something you might be doing uh, in this program of commercial. And uh, again, we'll teach you all the pipe bending and we'll do three different conduits. We'll do uh, EMT, PVC, and um, RMC as well. Hi guys, so this is Vass again from Lincoln Tech in East Windsor. So we're looking at solar panels. Some, one of the uh, two courses that we have here at Lincoln Tech 
that you will be learning from. And these are your panels here. Uh, both of them are the same panels. This one's just turned backwards so you can see the connections on this. The connections in the back, you have your positive and your negative connections. And again, this is DC power that we're getting from the sun. So this is something that the sun is going to produce our energy for us. And this, this is something you might see on the back uh, of, of a board or on top of the roof. And that's what you see from behind here. And we teach you how to wire these solar panels. Hi guys. So today I want to talk about our industrial and motor controls. So here we have a couple different things. You have these boards that you as a student would be wiring. And on these boards, we have a couple different things I want to quickly touch on. Single phase motor uh, that would be turned on by your starter. Your three phase motor right here that would be controlled by forward and reverse starter. So that way we can get the motor to go forward and backwards. Uh, then we have a couple different things up here, which are your timing relays. Your regular relay here, uh, start, stops, uh, buttons here and our transformer here that we will teach you all the different concepts of motor control in our couple courses that we have for industrial and motor controls. I'm going to turn this on because we got this wired up for you so you can kind of see what, you look, uh, what you're going to have to look forward to. And this is wired in a sequence and all these time and relays turn on different types of lights at different times. And this is something that you learn in the actual second course of motor controls where you learn the timing and the sequence of all that. Because as you see, they're going on in sequence when they're supposed to go on, which is something uh, pretty cool. Yes. So uh, Lincoln Tech has paired up with uh, Johnson Controls. And Johnson Control does quite a bit of fire alarm systems for your pole stations, uh, to your smoke alarms, to your strobes, and to your panels that you as a student will wire. So we'll do some of that here at Lincoln Tech. So that way once you do get out of here, out of the school, you should be able to get some of this wiring and understand how this wiring is done. And that should help you get into not only Johnson Control, but other jobs that do low voltage like this. Also, Johnson Control does uh, our um, um, card scans for you to get into the doors, into a building. Kind of like here at this building here. I have my card scanner here, and one of these scanners is actually by the door for me to scan and for that to open the door so I can get into the building. Then we're looking at the security system, which we go over in uh, one of the courses, which again, you're looking at some of the wire, wiring that you might have to do, or you might be looking at some of the wireless stuff like this where it does not require batteries, and this is a door contact. As soon as you open the door, that's gonna show you that the door is open. So again, wireless is pretty big now because that does not require wiring in an existing house. I can wire it and put these in without wires, just on batteries, and have a security system. Also, we have our hub here that does the recording of our uh, camera, which is right here. Again, that's a wireless camera. Again, if you can't wire it, you can install, install a wireless one and the hub will record, and that way you can see all your stuff. Uh, as well as you have your wireless router that connects to the system. So this is all talked in uh, two of our courses for low voltage. Well, I hope you all enjoyed your time with Voss today. We look forward to training you in the future.